If you like these videos and you want to see them a day before they go out, check out Library. It's an awesome alternative to YouTube and I absolutely love it. There's a link in the description. Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite creator with nothing but terrible rants, Gardner. Now I can't guarantee that uh, I have terrible rants, uh, but uh, stick around and find out. This one is not so much a rant as it is a, uh, a nostalgia trip. Do you guys remember Compiz? Compiz was a pretty cool uh, set of plugins or extensions for GNOME 2.x. Uh, it had like wobbly windows, windows would burn up if you closed them, and very customizable, super interesting, and, and kind of old school in the Linux world. Uh, at least for me when I started, that was like the hot new thing was Compiz. So uh, when I happened upon this extension for GNOME, it actually made me incredibly nostalgic. I wanted to share it with you. Let's let's check it out. Wobbly windows, whoa. It's pretty cool. I, I gotta admit, I think this is really awesome. Uh, so let's talk about how to get this installed. So first of all, just go ahead and go to extensions.gnome.org and type in wobbly in the search, and then you can bring up uh, compiz like wobbly windows effects. Now, there are a couple ones here. These two by Hermes83 are pretty awesome, but uh, this one works really well out of the box. You don't have to have anything else installed. The other one by Hermes requires a uh, some dependencies that you have to install, a custom version of lib animation. Uh, this, this one works pretty great though. Comp is alike, uh, wobbly windows effects. It's pretty good. So what you wanna do is, if you don't have it installed, just click the little, uh, the little on button. And, uh, it'll, and GNOME will ask you if you want to actually install this, if you haven't installed it before. And uh, there you go. Just just go ahead and install it. And then once you do, it should just give you a little bit of these uh, little, little options here. This is pretty sweet. You can actually adjust how much spring there is in the video, in the, uh, when you drag stuff around. Much spring, no spring, whatever you want to do. Whoa, that one's real wobbly. Whoa. So then if you screw it up, you can just hit reset to default. Uh, but I actually kind of like it with, with low friction. It makes it a little bit more springy. Lowering the spring down gives it some more uh, action. I don't even know what you want to call this. Um, but I think this is really cool. It works even when you're compositing with video, uh, you can actually just move it around and it still uh, works with the video playing in the background. I think that that's pretty rad. But yeah, go ahead and check this out. Uh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool deal. It very much reminds me of the good old days with uh, GNOME 2.x and Compiz. Now all they need is the, uh, the fire effect when you hit close. <laughs> Don't have that yet. Well, I hope you liked that. Uh, I thought that was a really cool thing to, to, to find, to share with you guys. Uh, I found it on OMG Ubuntu. So thanks to OMG Ubuntu, you guys are rad. I also want to say thank you to NQBW and the rest of the people that support this channel over on Patreon. Uh, I would not be able to do this if it wasn't for my Patreon supporters. So if you like this show and you believe in what I do, it'd be great if you could head over to Patreon and just toss a buck or two my way. I'd really appreciate it. That's gonna do it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I, if you wanna help support the show in other ways, you can pick up some merch over on Teespring. There's links down below or head over to library. But no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now and have a blessed day.